everyone, this is Robin and I am back with, uh, finally, with uh, another video. I know it's been a long time and I'm not even going to start and saying that oh, I'm going to try to be, you know, upload more videos. Of course I will, but I know that's that same old song and dance that I can't seem to, um, to do them on a regular basis because I'm, you know, just really busy with work. So I am really just going to do, try to do the best I can and, um, you know, I was honestly contemplating not doing any more, but some of my subbies, I got such sweet emails um, asking me to do more videos, so really that is what um, basically encouraged me to continue. I mean, I really do love doing it, but work kids have just consumed me, and actually I am in the, in the process of taking another position that hopefully won't, you know, I won't be working like... 12, 13 hour days. So um, that was just crazy. So now I think hopefully I'll have a more manageable schedule that will allow me to do more videos. But anyway, okay, so I'm going to stop talking and I just wanted to come on and excuse me because I am getting over a cold um, <clears throat> and I've had it for like three weeks and, and that's another reason I was delayed. I got sick right after New Year's and um, it's just really trying to regroup and um, recover. So hopefully I won't clear my throat too many times in the video. But anyway, um, just wanted to come on with a brief video and just show you guys a few things I picked up over the holidays. Um, yeah, so I will just start with the first thing. Um, the first thing is from Chanel. And I wanted another one and because I absolutely love the one I have and I've had it if you follow me on Instagram you see it's posted on a lot of my pictures from my outfits and jackets and stuff so I was like oh I'm wearing this one to death so I think I need to get a new one so I was in Chicago <coughs> sorry um let's see I think a, few, a couple of months ago and uh, I think I revealed the Chanel necklace that I got and I saw this brooch and I thought the sales associate had it on and I really loved it on her but I thought oh, it might be a little too much and um, then of course when I went away I said I really want it and it was gone so I had to wait um, until it came back in and she sent me one but anyway so by all of that you know what it is so anyway it comes in this box and of course the um, pouch and this it's absolutely gorgeous I absolutely love it so it is the um, crystal brooch and let me see I don't know if you can really see it is absolutely stunning it's um, gorgeous it sparkles uh, let me see if I can get it closer up so the camera will focus it's really beautiful um, and you know she had it on and I thought you know it's maybe it's too blingy but I really like it the the stones are like I think they're like emerald cut stones and so they have it in the inside of the seas and they have it on the outer part of the sea so the entire thing is just filled with crystals this is absolutely beautiful um, I wore this <clears throat> on New Year's and it was absolutely beautiful just you know and the, catching the light and it was just gorgeous so absolutely love this and I'm so glad um, I was able to get it I don't you know I'm looking on the box for the number I don't know what it is and but I will try and find it if I can and post it uh, in the description below so that is one thing and the next thing I got <clears throat> for these um, really beautiful Valentino flats um, these are the um, rock stud flats and these are like in a baby pink um, and I, I really wanted the the Napa leather I didn't want the um, I didn't want the patent leather so I got these and absolutely love them and you know, I hear people say that they're, they're not comfortable but to me I think they're quite comfortable they're a lot more comfortable than the Valentino um, thong sandals that I have because my feet tend to slip down you know when you're walking so you know when it hits the Thing in the middle it's not that comfortable but these are really comfortable so really love these um, 
in the pink, baby pink. <clears throat> so the next thing I, <clears throat> again, if you follow me, I'm so sorry. If you follow me on Instagram, I should have brought some water in here. You will have already seen this. Um, and this is also from Chanel. Okay, so those, those uh, of you that, okay, some of my YouTube, fellow YouTubers, I have sent emails and asked, okay, what do you think about the walk, you know, because I've wanted one of these, and this is like, you know, a classic, um, what do you think about it, and, you know, what are your thoughts versus the mini, and so forth, and, you know, a lot of them said, you know, I would definitely go for the mini and not the walk. You know, it doesn't hold a lot, whatever. But I just couldn't get my mind off it. And when I was in London or Rome or wherever coming back through, I found, I found, um, it's London. She wants to get up here. Um, I saw one of the walks, and I think it was the one that I wanted that was the crosshatch pattern. And I contemplated, but ended up getting something else and ended up regretting it. So <clears throat> when these came out, I said, you got to have it. So you guys are, you know, what it is now that I've spilled beans. But um, so it came in this beautiful box. <clears throat> I can open it. And it's absolutely stunning. I have not used it yet, but... Okay, so it comes in this pouch, as we all know, and here is the, um, here's just the tag with the number on it, and I'll post all the information below because it doesn't look like the camera is focusing, but it comes in the beautiful Chanel pouch, and it is absolutely, so when I saw this iridescent one, I was like, oh my god, I have to have something in this, and I call my essay and I said, you've got to find me, um, a walk and they had it in the bronze and I think this was one that was like the last one in the company but here she is oh my gosh so 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 beautiful and I saw the bronze and the bronze is pretty but it wasn't in my opinion just for me personally I really wanted the purple and as you can see it has that beautiful iridescence and the chain um, is so so beautiful just absolutely gorgeous um, and of course the little double C's on the front are in that iridescence and of course I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail because you guys know what the locks look like. It's all, all the way through that same color and um, the interior is kind of like a gray, a grayish, you know, kind of blends in with it. but. It is so beautiful, and I'm so happy that I went ahead and, and got it. Um, and I'm also keeping this piece here because, as we all know, this little um, zipper pull will put an indentation there. So <clears throat> I am keeping this one here, and we'll keep store it this way so that it doesn't get it. And I know that um, when I ask my... Um, YouTube friends about it. They were saying that you know it's difficult to snap clothes when you have it on, and but you know what? I don't even really care. I love it so much. It's so so beautiful, and uh, I'm so glad I prob I'm so glad that I waited and got it in this, since as opposed to getting you know like one of the classic colors because this is fun and it's um, you know more unique than the others that we typically can find. So, I really love that. <clears throat> so, Chanel, and then my last, and I do have a couple of, um, a couple of other things that I have, but I'll save that for another video, that way I can film something else. And this one won't be too long, but anyway. So the last thing I wanted to show was this bag, and of course this is not, this is just a reveal, all of these are reveals, I've already opened it, but this is from Fendi, and I was started, I've been contemplated the peekaboo for I don't know how long, when I was in 
my husband and I were in Italy, I saw the peekaboo and the, um, gosh, what was the leather? The, uh, I don't know, is the, is the grainy leather one that's uh, hand-stitched? I forgot what it was. And I absolutely loved it and regretted not getting it. Then when I was traveling, I think I was in Jersey, I saw it again and I felt like, although I loved the leather, it, you know, it was a bag that would kind of get that slouchy feel and for that particular bag, I didn't want that. I wanted a little more structured bag. So, um, Solaria, I think it was the Solaria leather. So after much contemplating, and went back and forth and regretting I didn't get it in Italy and yada yada. I also wanted something in color because um, a lot of most of my bags are black and you know of course the Louis Vuittons are brown I wanted to set some color so I ended up getting this absolutely beautiful pink <clears throat> um, Fendi and it is absolutely beautiful and well, I really just love the fact that they do this, um, you know, you can have your initials engraved here. And it is so beautiful. So it, the top is gray, and where the zipper is, and I absolutely love this bag. And I, I actually wanted to get it in the, it also came in a croc, but I decided just to go with the smooth leather. And even though this, this is, this is more of a, it's not like the smooth that would show scratches. It's a little bit more pebbled, slightly pebbled. Or, uh, you know, it does have a grain to it that I like because it's, I think it will um, hold up better. And so as you can see, the paper and everything is still on here, but here's what the inside looks like. The strap is inside. And then snowed in, so so here we go. So it's just you know one open, um, and then it has this the back wall pocket right here. It has two slots, and that's it. So no other zipper, just the two slots, which are, which is fine. Um, I, I think the organization is fine, and of course it has the, the flaps in the inside, the little loops to put the strap on. Okay, so for me, I think the deciding factor on this bag, getting this one also, instead of the, um, and I think this is, which bag is this? Um, Toujours? Treasure? Toujours? Toujours, maybe. Um, but anyway, the, um, and I'll post the information down below, but the real deciding factor, I think, in the end between this bag and the peekaboo was, I don't like, um, I don't like handles that stay up when you put it on, you know, when you put it cross body and they stay up like this. To me, it just looks a little awkward for me. Um, I've seen, you know, other people with the Louis Vuitton bags and it looks fine, but for me personally, I prefer them to drop down on the side or like this when I'm carrying crossbody. I just think it looks the cleaner look. It's just my personal preference and that was really one of the reasons why I went with this bag. Um, I still think it's a beautiful bag. I have a Fendi Monster that I'm going to put on here that Ugh, I am so, um, so happy that I got this bag. I love it. Um, it's very understated. Um, you know, it just has the Fendi here in the front. And um, it's just beautiful. And then, of course, I like the fact that it has my initials here. And you can dress it up with a beautiful, um, with a beautiful bag charm. So, anyway, those were... These are just a few of the things that I got like I said, for the holidays. Um, I felt like I wanted to share. And of course, once I carry the bag and everything, I will come back and, and do a review. And I am promising one of my viewers that I'm going to do a review on my Jumbo uh, So Black Chanel Jumbo. And just, you know, the wear and tear with the, the leather and everything. Just so that you guys <clears throat> know. Um, and also... Um, 
just, you know, how it's holding up as far as the lambskin is concerned. But anyway, so yeah, these are um, just a few of the things I picked up. And like I said, um, I do plan on coming back and doing a few more videos. Some, a couple of items that I wanted to show that I didn't have in here, forgot to bring in. Um, but I will do those in the next video. So anyway, thank you so much. And um, I will see you again soon. I hope you guys had a, a great holiday and um, I will talk to you later. Bye.